It's the end of an era dating back to World War I. The United States Marine Corps is not training scout snipers anymore. On December 15th, the last eight graduated from their training school in North Carolina. The decision to phase out scout snipers is part of the Corps' Force Design 2030, a branch-wide plan to modernize and prepare for a conflict with what the Corps calls a near-peer adversary. That's military speak for a fight with China. China's ambition to compete with and possibly defeat the U.S. economically and militarily means it spent the last couple of decades or so building up its navy and rocket force. Now, the People's Liberation Army Navy is the world's largest. China's rocket force is also enough of a threat. The whole of the U.S. plan to keep peace in the Pacific is changing to a distributed force posture. Force Design 2030 does not mean Marines stop being lethal. But, in order to kill enemies armed with advanced sensors, Marines need to be able to scout ahead a little further than a sniper can shoot. Instead of 18-man scout sniper platoons in an infantry battalion, the Corps will field 26-man scout platoons in reconnaissance battalions. The Corps says the change allows those Marines to focus their training on the scouting side of the operation so they can provide their commanders in the field the right information, which is a core function of scouting, and always has been. Marines first started using scout snipers in World War I. They are highly trained warfighters and for decades were trusted with being their commanders' eyes and ears beyond the front lines. If the Corps is the tip of the spear of the American military, scout snipers are the very end of the pointy part. Or were. Oh, the move to phase out scout snipers isn't without its critics. The CEO of the USMC Scout Sniper Association told Marine Corps Times, scout snipers were widely recognized as one of the most cost-effective force-multiplying assets on the battlefield and infantry battalions are losing capability by losing scout snipers. The Marine Corps says it still needs snipers, though. They'll be trained as recon snipers and distributed among reconnaissance battalions. So what is an infantry commander to do if they need a sniper? The Corps says some infantrymen will be trained as precision marksmen and can be called upon as needed. General Berger says the heightened focus on reconnaissance and counter-reconnaissance does not diminish the importance of lethality for Marines. But, in his words, if you're so fat and immobile and vulnerable to their sensors, all the lethality in the world ain't gonna help you.